Hello everyone! Today we are going to develop a small application where we make use of the shared preferences. Shared preferences are used to store our information permanently so that even after we restart our app that the information is saved and that we can reload them. And that's what we want to do. We want to save here the color on which we clicked the last time. And after we restart our app completely, we want to have this color restored. First of all, we type in pub.lang.org and then we go to the shared preferences. So we type it here inside and then we go to the installing section and copy the last dependency. And we copy it inside our pub spec JAML file. So we will copy it here under dependencies. And we also take on the same side the important statement and copy it and put it into our widget which should use the shared preferences. And we also get the dependencies and restart our app. And we go to our on tab function here which is responsible for these tabs here on the different buttons. So I go here. Then we want to get the shared preferences. And here we can get the instance of the shared preferences. Right now the shared preferences returns a future. So we have to write here an await in front. And we also have to add the async here and return the future. And now we can save our color here on preferences. And then we have here different methods. For example, we have set bool where we can store a boolean, a double, an int, and also a string, and also a string list. But we want to go with a string. And here we want to have a key. So we just say, for example, color box. And then we want to save here the color box which we tapped on and our color box object here has a name property and also a color property and we want to go with the name property. And we also have to await it here. So to recap it quickly we have here a string and for the string color box which is a key we have a value which is in our case the value inside of this container like red or blue or green and we save it here so that we can use it permanently. So now we want also to load this color. So for example, we will go to our init state method here and then we want to load the color box. And we make it here an async function and return it future. Here we get again the shared preferences instance and then we want to get the string with the same key. So we will just get this key here outside and say something like color box key and save it here on the top. So we have saved here our color box key which is every time the same for loading and writing. And we store this value which we got from the preferences in a variable which we call stored color box name. And now we need to find the corresponding color box. So we have here many color boxes and we have only stored the name, not the color itself. Here we go therefore through all of our color boxes. And here we have the method first where and we want to get the box if the name is the same as our stored color box. Assign it here to a new variable. So we go here current color box which is actually the object itself. And we want to set it to our state. So we go here, color box is current color box. And we also have this set state method where we put it inside. So on default, we load the first color box of this list here, but we also load the shared preferences. And we also need to check if we have no value. So if we have not stored a value, then we want to return it immediately so that we not go here and change any color box. And now let's test it. We just go here with blue, for example, and then restart the application. And we also have here then the blue text, which we saved. And also when we tap on green and restart our application. And then we also get the color green, which is restored from our shared preferences. And we get this from our color box key here and then set it here to our current state and this gets updated 
and then the text gets also updated with the new color. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon. Bye.